Welcome to Rob Awesome VR. Today I'm going to show you how I created a modular VR controller for the HTC Vive uh, with a focus today on a glove uh, that I created. Um, let me preface this that there's no electronic experience necessary, no soldering involved. If you've got more experience in uh, electronics, I'm sure you can make a lot better looking product. Uh, first of all, uh, what you'll need um, a Vive controller, of course. Um, you'll need a Vive tracker pin connector. Uh, I ordered this off of Thingverse. Uh, I had them uh, 3D print it and send it to me. Um, uh, four, uh, preferably mono, 3.5 millimeter female audio jacks. Um, switches with um, 3.5 millimeter mono. Uh, on the end, a lot of the switches that you can find come with this on there automatically. Um, you can uh, hardwire your switches directly into the Vive Tracker if you want. Um, but my whole point was I wanted to make this system modular. I wanted to be able to change out the switches. Um, like here we have a trigger style switch. Um, we have a grip style switch here. Uh, stays in your hand when you grip it. Uh, that uh, completes the circuit. Um, we have a pinch style uh, switch here. This just needs to be pinched. Uh, that could function as a trigger or many other things in VR. Um, if you um, have switches without the 3.5 millimeter um, uh, end on them, you can purchase one of these. Of course, there's going to be links for everything below. Um, and you can just simply wire this onto the end of your uh, switch and that plug that into the uh, female end of your uh, connector there. And that makes the system totally modular. All right, so uh, to start off, uh, pin one. Uh, is not used. That's for uh, vibration, I believe, uh, or um, uh, tactile feedback. That's not used. Uh, number two pin is very important to us. That's going to be ground. So from each individual switch, one of those two wires is going to have to go to the ground. Um, three, four, five, and six are your controllers um, buttons. Uh, three, of course, is going to be your grip button. Four is your trigger. Uh, five is pressing down on the trackpad, and six is the menu button, the uh, application menu button. And I'm sure everyone knows, but um, the button on top of the tracker, that actually functions as a system uh, button or system menu button when you're in VR. So uh, the way I went about doing this, uh, since every one wire from each switch needs to go to the ground, is I simply took all the white wires from the pair and I twisted them together. And then I ran them through um, pin two on the tracker. Um, I'm sure you guys don't want to uh, watch this, so let me pause and I will be back. Okay, so I ran each of those cables through the uh, prospective pin holes through there. And one thing I failed to do was to label these correctly. Um, as I did on my other prototype here, I've got them labeled. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you label these for which pin you're running it through so you know what uh, button, like where to put the trigger, uh, where to put the, your grip buttons, uh, so you know where all that is. All right, so now that those are all run through, those should all make uh, fine contact with the, uh, with the pogo pins on the back. Uh, it's time to go ahead and mount. Uh, it simply pops into place. It's got that uh, alignment pin. Uh, so it all mounts in like that. Um, and that's it. Um, now for uh, doing the VR glove, uh, what I did is, of course, I used Velcro. Um, I Velcroed the um, tracker to the back of my hand. And then, of course, I went into um, uh, Open VR Input uh, Emulator, and I changed the uh, offsets to uh, move that tracker from the back of my hand up to the front where the controller would be. And um, see, I've got everything labeled here. I've got the trackpad button, the grip button, the menu button, 
and the trigger button. And um, so I plugged in one of these um, nice little buttons with a 3.5 millimeter, and I Velcroed that uh, right there uh, underneath my thumb. So what that allows me to do in game is to grip uh, or uh, activate a trigger in game. Uh, I could add several other buttons to that, of course. Um, you can let your imagination run wild. Um, and here is how I, I mounted the Velcro to the uh, tracker, as I just ran one of those um, uh, quarter inch uh, 20 bolts through a piece of Velcro, and um, then I uh, ran it through the middle of the uh, tracker. Um, Make sure it was on there nice and tight. So it mounted well on there. And uh, so that's about it. Um, let's see those ideas. There's all kinds of great things you can do with this. You could cut your own gun out of cardboard and put these buttons all over the, uh, the cardboard gun. You could make lightsabers. Uh, you can make all kinds of different things with this. Uh, the only thing, of course, you don't have a trackpad with this. Uh, to do trackpad, you've got to go through the USB, and that's uh, something I have not tackled yet. Um, so let's see some great ideas out there, and uh, enjoy!